Hello everybody and welcome to another Pokemon the Official Magazine review. This is for you issue 3, dated from the 24th of May to the 20th of June 2017. This is one of the, as I film this, one of the missing issues from my playlist. So I saw it on eBay and I thought, give it, give it a go because I need to fill my playlist. And also, if you find the... Um, if you know of anywhere that has the um, missing issues that I that I need for this playlist in as new a condition as possible, then please send me a private message, either on YouTube or even on Twitter or even on Instagram as well. I'll be helpful. I'll be very helpful. And now, of course, give you a shout out and link your YouTube channel if you have one down in the comment section down below. And it comes with the disc launcher, that's why I'm trying to get that out first so we can see what this is all about. Without destroying too much of the packaging, of course. So we've got the uh, blown and starters as your discs. This is nice. Now we have to find out how they go in there. Is it just. I know it'll probably tell you how to do it in, in the magazine itself, but I like to be surprised. So one of them things you have to, excuse me a second. Is it a tray you have to open up? Is that a ring? We'll find out, hopefully, in the magazine. Hopefully it'll tell us in here how to do it. See, it's the disc launcher, see? We start off with a battle bingo. Face off against your friend in an awesome f or family in an awesome game. So there's two players, pens and pen. Cut out the 12 Pokemon on page 35, then pop them in the bag. Ask a grown up to help, of course. And there's how to play it and all the rest. And there's some not nice stickers there. Especially the Pikachu one, I like that one. And there's Kukui introducing us and Poplio Partners. Lana and Poppy are practicing for some Pokemon Showcase. Use your stickers to show the missing move in each display. Okay, so it's just popular dancing about. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, and the poster advertising Sun and Moon. I'd assume this is the game. Oh, that could be wrong. <laughs> and there's word search. Ooh. Okay, we have to find all these words. Can you find eight of Ash's favourite things hidden in the word search? Yes, because there's Pikachu right there. Right there, right there, between my fingers, right there. <laughs> and here's more about the Guardians Rising set of Pokemon TZG, Turtonator GX, Toxapec GX, Lycomox GX and Vicavolt GX. My personal favourite of them is the Lycomox, of course. Oh, and the two, even still, still, <laughs> Lycomox is still my favourite. Win Pokemon trading cards, three winners will win all of these. Competition's over yet, so we can't enter it. And stills from the anime, an unlikely team from XY the series. Obviously one where Ian K and Malama are there, and obviously Team Rocket. And 
Yes. Not sure what else. I haven't, I haven't watched this episode myself. Well, it's Turtonator, isn't it? <laughs> That's uh, Cuba. That's Ghastly or Gengar. Could be one. What's the weight? Jesse has mixed up how much these Pokemon weigh. Do you just get to place the correct weight under each one? I believe Metacross will be the, the weighing the most there. That's one of these, a tricky tail. Where you have to go in a certain pattern to finish there. And you can use your meal stick there if you so wish to, of course. It's totally up to you. And a nice Pikachu poster for all you Pikachu fans. And this one we have Samson Oaks jokes. Why did the Pyrosign blush? Because the seaweed. How does a cutie fly tell someone to go away? Buzz off. Why, what does a clefable do in the kitchen? Bake fairy cakes. What does a litten do at night? What does the evening muse? What does a valnut use to dry his dishes? A teat owl. What's a Kamala's favourite drink? Coca Koala. Oh, that's certainly my favourite one there. <laughs> and all you need? Ah! Target game. Remove the centre pages and stick the game to a wall outside. Load your launch with the discs, aim at your target, fire, launch three discs each for each round. When your discs hit a target, score on there. Okay. Okay, doesn't show you how to. Bring this in there. Ah. Okay. Can we go like that? Ah, I got it now. I know what to do. Hey, <laughs> you push your disc in one at a time. That comes out. All I have to do is go, and it comes soup out there. That's nice. Just confirm it. So there you go. That's how that's how the disc launcher works. Let's glad we know that now. <laughs> There. Move that there. So that. And you've got 50 points for all the coyo. I know some would be like to score lots of 50 points there. 100 points for Dragonite. Okay. <laughs> and the Litten. Poster, of course, obviously. How to draw a Squirtle. Draw your very own classic Pokemon with this simple guide. Of course, you copy that onto there. Of course, Squirtle, Squirtle needs to come back in the TCG, in my opinion, and Wartortle. I don't think they've been around since, if I'm not mistaken, Black and White Plasma Storm. Again, if I'm wrong, comment, leave the comments in the comment section down below. I'm proving me right. Oh, look, Lelibers. Millions, is it? It's one or two, or both, or then the battling against the evil Malamar. Ooh. Oh, and the evil Malamar gets scared away. Okay. Eevees. Okay, Eevee evolution. Fill in the gaps below to match the e some. Fill in the gaps below to match the Eevee evolutions to their types. Jolteon, and Flareon, Sylveon and Vaporeon are already filled up. Just need Glaceon, Umbreon, Leafeon and Espeon. I assume there's oh, stickers obviously in the back. Although in the TCG they need more. One evolution for each energy typing. It's just my opinion of course. And did you know Say Alola to these awesome Sun and Moon additions. Persimian and Oranguru. Okay. Oranguru is a Pokemon that only appears in Pokemon Moon. If you're playing Pokemon Sun, you can obtain it by trading 
with someone playing Pokemon Moon. And Persimmon is a Pokemon that only appears in Pokemon Sun. If you're playing Pokemon Moon, you can obtain it by trading with someone by playing Pokemon Sun. So trade us a Rangaroo for Persimmon. Cross over that. It's nice that you could do that with the uh, games. I don't own the games myself. I wish I did. I'd do a whole series on it. <laughs> Hide and seek. <laughs> okay, um... How many Pikachus can you spot? Off the bat, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There you go. Which is the only ghost-type Pokemon? Um, not Stuffle. Not Crabrawler. Uh, I'm going to say... Lola Muck. Because why not? <laughs> of course, colouring Ash and Pikachu. Use our colour guide if you so wish to. Because I personally say don't. Go against the rules. Colouring it your own. Instead of having grey pants, you could have yellow pants. Yeah. Fortunate accident there. We've got Pokemon Post there. Oh, there. Pokemon post them and of course the answers and the maze, the word search. It was ghastly, ghastly as well. And in the next mag, which was out on the 27th, 21st sorry, of June 2017, of course, I have a Picky Peck Flying Heli Spinner and the Pokeball Keeping. Oh, I wouldn't like that. Ooh, it would be nice to be to my collection of keenings. Anyhow, and eight puffy stickers. And Lunana versus Sogaleo. Or Sogaleo versus Lunana, as they say there. Fun facts. Who wins? Who do you think I would win? I would say who won. But you can't guess. <laughs> of course, Lunana, obviously. And the Pokédex there. Tick them off if you've done the puzzles throughout. If you haven't, you can always go back and do the puzzles. Oh, and more stickers there. Obviously, we knew that. My favourite evolution there. I believe Umbreon was my first Rainbow Wear from the Sun and Moon series of TCGs. If I'm wrong, you're more than welcome to tell me. And Bingo Battle for as previously beforehand. Oh, and that's it. And my champ poster there. So that's nice. So thank you everybody for of course thumbs up to you <laughs> for watching this review. Um if you'd like to win this, because this is a giveaway video as well, all you have to do is comment down below anything you want, anything you so desire, and in one week's time I shall pick a winner. And I shall private message them saying congratulations you've won and please send me an address to which to send it to. And if you can't, of course, tell me so I can pick another winner. That's the usual message I send out to everybody. Uh, I'm still waiting to hear back on, as I say this, one person. But I understand reasons they can't on to YouTube at the moment, check their messages at the moment. But that, uh, that's okay, I, um, I got patience of a saint. So he says sometimes. <laughs> but yes, um, yes, if you see your comment pinned in any of these Pokemon magazines, please check your private messages. That's all. Because some people have done, some people haven't, and sometimes I have to remind them. But just in case, if you haven't, um, if you haven't received one of these for a giveaway before, and you see your name, your comment pinned, that means you won that giveaway. Yes. Good luck to you all. I certainly look forward to sending this magazine off to one of you lucky viewers out there. And hopefully you'll subscribe as well if you haven't already. And hopefully I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.